Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming another inspired makeup look. This one is um, an Ariana Grande inspired makeup look. I watch her new um, music video, no, no Tears Left to Cry, and in the middle of the music video she's wearing like that very sparkly eye, like gold, silvery makeup, and like the lip as well. And yes, I was inspired to recreate it. So if you'd like to see my Ariana Grande inspired makeup look, just keep on watching. And if you want me to recreate any makeup look you've seen, then let me know in the comments down below. Let's get started. Um, okay, so this time I'm not going to start with my face because I'm going to be using glitter and all that. And I don't want it to be everywhere on my face. So I'm going to be doing my eyes first. So I'm going to be priming my eyes using concealer and today I'm going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Concealer in the shade 2 Light. I haven't used this one in a long time and I don't want them to go bad or expire so I'm going to be using that today. So I'm going to apply that all over my eyelid all the way up to my um, brows and taking my beauty sponge, this one is by Eco Tools. I'm going to be setting that with powder. I'm using my Shade and Light palette palette by Kat Von D. I have an idea of like what products I'm going to be using. Um, and it's hard to see in the video. Like in the video, it looked like a soft cut crease. Like it looked like she's wearing just one color, one shimmer all over her eyelid. And then she has a little transition color. And then she has a wing liner and a glitter liner underneath. I'm, I think I'm going to be using this palette that I've never used before, actually. Um, it's by the brand Jolie, and it's called Bomb.com Palette, and it's basically glitter shadows, so you can see. Uh, you can see how gorgeous that is, and I think that for this look, I'm going to be using this one, because it looks like a full tone gold, if that makes sense. And that's the closest to what she's wearing in the music video in my opinion but I'm going to see how it looks because it's very chunky and everything so underneath I'm going to be using something else. I have as well this uh, pigment by Makeup Geek in Afterglow and it looks pretty close to what she has on her eyes so I might go with a shadow first to have some kind of color. So as a shadow I think I'm going to be using this peach color called Aiden here in Desert Dusk, in the Desert Dusk palette by Huda Beauty, just all over my lid. So for the pigment, I'm gonna go with a flat brush. Uh, this one is the 248 by Mike, but any brush you have. I'm going to put some, uh, I have with me the Pixie Glow Mist, but like water would be, but would be as good and you wouldn't be wasting your fixing mist. And I'm going to, apply that all over my lid and that's pretty spot on to what she's wearing honestly from what I can see at least it's again blending I want it to be like very reflective I'm going to add that later but I don't know how it's going to look I bought this palette like ages ago and I think it was around 20 pounds or was it less I'm not even sure not really sure and at first I thought it was going to be rubbish because I've heard of a lot of people saying they bought like similar palettes. There's a lot of brands who do this, these kinds of pa this kind of palettes, and a lot of people were saying that there's like um, you know kind of like a greasy layer on top, and then there's no glitter at all. But it looks pretty legit. But you need um, a glitter glue, you know. And I have this one by Barium that I never used before because I don't really use glitter that much. Um, so I never really had the occasion to use it. So I'm going to put it on the same um, MAC 248 that I used for the loose glitter. And I'm going to like pat it, I'm going to put it for now in the middle of my eyelid. I'm going to do one eye. And then I'm going to go with like the one I mentioned earlier, this shade here. This shade here because it looks pretty close to what I want. I think I have to go with my finger. I can't see anything. This is so annoying. I think 
think I want to apply that all over my eyelid actually because even though that glitter is very chunky once you put one layer it's very reflective and it doesn't look as chunky you know Let's see now how reflective it is and it's closer to the result I want I'm using the brush because I'm trying to be precise I don't want to take the glitter to higher because it looks like she has a cut crease going on you know a very soft one but it does look like one so I've done both eyes I'm going to be cleaning the crease so like it's at the same level and all that oops <laughs> Uh, but first I think I'm going to do my brows and I'm going to do my brows as I usually do them I'm going to show you what products I'm going to be using I'm first going to be using the Tiny Bear Cosmetics Selfie Sculpt and I'm wearing the shade It doesn't say but I'm wearing I don't know if it's the blonde. I don't know if it's the latest shade or the shade after that um, But it doesn't say on it. I must have removed the sticker and uh, after that I'm going to go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills and an angled brush. I have the uh, number 12 by Anastasia Beverly Hills. Uh, and then my regular brow gel and that's it. And I'm going to be doing that and then I'll be right back to continue the makeup. Okay, so I've done my brows. I like how they turned out today. I covered them out with some um, concealer underneath and I, I dragged it down up until the glitter and I applied them you know the light shades uh, from the shade and light palette um yeah so now i'm going to finish the eyes at least the top lid i'm going to be doing the transition color i'm going to be taking this one by morphe it's the m518 and it's a fluffy pencil brush and i'm going to be which shade am i going to take mm. Let me look at the picture. It's hard to see on the picture, but on the picture it looks a little bit like a um, dope shade, but it's very like subtle. So I think I'm going to be taking first um, Musk from the um, Desert Desk palette by Huda Beauty. This one. I think I need a more precise brush. So first I'm going to go with a pencil brush. This one is by Mire. And I'm going to go like very slowly. Just above the glitter. Taking the other brush I had. Let me look at the liner. It looks pretty thin. So I'm going to first be lining, um, you know, my top lash line, very thin. I'm going to leave the liner like that. It took me ages. I haven't done liner in a long time. But anyway, I'll fix it later. Uh, so now I'm going to clean my face, remove all the glitter that I might have all over my face. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in the shade Alabaster. I have my damp sponge. Now concealer to brighten up my under eye. And now I'm going to be doing a cream contour and I'm going to be using the darkening drops um, by the body shop. I like to contour with that. So I'm putting it on my sponge. Taking um, a blending brush, I'm going to be contouring my nose as well. Okay. 
Okay, now I'm going to be setting my under eye and where I highlighted with my Shade and Light palette, mixing the two light shades. I want my skin to be quite glowy, so I won't be setting uh, my face anywhere else, just what I highlighted really. And now I'm going to be contouring with powder and I'm going to be uh, using this one a little bit. Drawline. I'm taking the other shade in the middle a bit more warm. I'm going to be doing my forehead. And also blending my contour with like the one shade. Taking my 217, my 217, sorry, and um, the first shade in the shade and light, I'm going to be setting my nose contour. Taking my sponge, I'm blending my forehead. Uh, now for blush, I'm going to be using the Technique Color Fix. We can't really see the face makeup, so I'm just doing what I would normally do. Um, and I'm going to be applying this one here, the first shade. It's actually my first, my, my first, my favorite shade in the palette. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Kilo Watt in Hustle Baby, I think it's Hustle Baby, the shimmery shade. Look at that hole in it. Because when I first got it, it was really hard for me to open it. And once I did, I poked it with my nail. And yeah, but oh well. I'm really being generous with it. I like how it's, it's rose gold, but with gold reflect, I like it. And I have a little bum, so I try not to highlight it. I stay like above that, and then I do the tip. Whoop. <laughs> I get really carried away with it because you know it's a a bit like an editorial look, you know, it's not something you would wear. to go grocery shopping, you know? <laughs> but you could, if you want to. I'm going to be taking the shade we use um, for the eyelid with an angle brush and the glitter gel glue we used earlier. And I'm going to be doing the liner because under the black, she's wearing this glitter liner. Now I'm going to apply in a corner highlight, the same highlight that I use by Empty Beauty. And also my brow bone. And with, this, with that highlight, I'm just blending the shimmer, just so we don't have like shimmer and then it stops, you know? Oops, <laughs> you dropped the highlighter. Honestly, it's so gorgeous in real life and you can't see it on camera and it's really annoying. Um, now I'm going to fix the eyeliner a little bit. That's better. Mm, I'm going to be preparing the lashes. So for the lashes, I wanted to use initially the Farrah, the Farrah lashes because they are very like wispy and big. But I don't have any at the moment, so I'm going to be in the I'm going to be using the Sasha ones, which are, which are pretty similar. Okay, and while uh, that's drying and everything, I'm going to do my lower lashes. So we can't see in the picture what she's wearing on her all lower lashes. So I'm just going to go with my gut feeling. Um, I'm just going to apply a little bit of brown, something like that. So I'm going to be taking my shade and light palette. Um, and I'm going to be taking uh, the shade in the middle, brown, 
with a fluffy brush. This one is a Morphe M518. And I'm just going to apply that along my lower lash line. I'm taking a more flatter brush. This one is an angled shader by Lamora. You can find this brand on Amazon. And taking the fluffy brush I had initially with the same shade, I'm going to go in the crease, not in the crease, but above the glitter. And with a even smaller brush, I'm going to take the darker brown in the palette. And I'm going to focus that in my outer corner. Okay. Um, now we're going to move on to the lips. For the lips, I'm going to first line my, oh my god, I'm going to clean my hands. I don't know how I ended up with like liner all over my hands. Oh god. So for the lips, I'm going to first line my lips with this NYX lip liner. It's the Nude Suede Shoes. It's a nudie pink. I'm going to apply a little bit of the Colorish Shine in 642. And then I'm going to be mixing those two glosses that I have. I have this Lip Strobe in Ritzy. And I also have this Gloss Danfer by Guerlain. Taking my mascara, the Selfie Lash, I'm applying it on my... Oh, actually, I want to apply something else for my lower lash line um, to give more depth. Taking my Texture Shadow Palette by Huda Beauty, I'm going to be... Um, I'm going to be taking this flat brush and I'm going to be taking uh, this cocoa um, color, which is a warm dark brown. And then blending. I'm digging this look, honestly. And now with the Selfie Lash by Tiny Bear Cosmetics, I'm applying that. Oh no! Oh, I blinked and it's everywhere. <laughs> oh no, honestly, no, why? My makeup is done. I'm going to spray some glow mist. So yeah guys, that's it. That was my Ariana Grande inspired makeup. I hope you liked it. It was a lot of fun to do. Uh, and I like how it turned out. Obviously, that's like a very, like, nearly editorial makeup. Like, in real life, I feel like on camera, it looks quite glam but wearable, you know? In real, I'm, like, glowing to the gods. Like, the glitter on my eyes is, like, so bright. But it's still, I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but it still looks nice. My skin is very glowy and everything. Um... I love it for a party and everything it looks very nice if you're watching this and you like to please subscribe to my channel because most people who watch my videos are not subscribed so please do it's free and it will make me happy <laughs> uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon in my next video bye guys